Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Yeah, welcome back guys. So right now the logo we just made that I show you on my PC lab right now. I want us to mock up, present it on a mock-up using different mock-up entirely. You have been seeing this mock-up all around, but I want to still show you the uh, a way, easy way that you can actually use this particular mock-up. Click on your computer after going to your Chrome browser, type in www.photopea.com. First step, make sure you extract this mock-up to your phone. There is no any penalty and there is no any sin in re-extracting if you are not sure whether that mock-up is being extracted on zip before. You extract using your set archiver exactly the way we extract font. If you don't know how to do this, kindly check my channel. You can actually get that there. After extracting, make sure you know where you extract it to. Right now, you see where I click? I click on the computer. Let me go back. I click from open from computer. Then I click file. Where, what am I going to do? I'm going directly to where I have my mockup being saved. Then I will bring this mockup to where I will use it. So right now, I'm looking for the mockup. Let's find it out. So I'm going there. Here I am. Then go to my drive because that is where I have it being saved. Then after my drive loading, loaded, then I will go to where I have the marker being saved. So for better still, let me check whether the markup is here. If it was in here, let me check. It was in here, I will recheck another place. So let's look at this. Then we scroll down, we should be able to find it here. So let's scroll down. It should be around there. This is the marker I'm going to use. Some people call, call it a glass markup. Why some people call it a certain markup? But no matter the name they are calling it, how to use it is what really matter. Remember, this markup has to do with layer. We need to open the layer before we go into editing. Now we are waiting, it's not a magic. It will take a little time before it will load. But believe me, after loading, we are going to open the layer, then we hide the logo inside it, and we place our own logo. After placing our own logo, it's like we are shifting someone holding a, uh, someone holding a room before. We evacuate the person along with everything, then we position our own. Now when you check, we don't have, you see, we don't have the layer being shown here. Some people always experience that. What can we do? Click on the layer at the top corner, then you can actually access the layer by clicking the smart object and click open. When we click open, you can actually see that, uh, you can actually see that our design, uh, I mean the layer has been opened. Then after the design is open, don't worry, what if the layer did not come? Go and to open and place, then go to the file, look at where you have your design being saved. That is our PCL folder, then you import the design. Now that we import the design, let's just look at our, uh, let's just scroll down. Then we didn't see anything either. You can see, we have to position it very well, then we we'll move down. So after we move down like this, we are going to go to our layer again. Then we go to the open with smart object. Then click convert with smart object. Now that we click convert with smart object, we can actually go here, go to tap on the save with smart object. After tapping on it, then you look at the screen of your phone for, for the logo to transform. Now we have smart object updated with double tap on mockup title at the top of this layer. 
then we wait for the result to display now i'm playing one trick i want to see whether at the end of the day the uh, our layer will not appear we are waiting for the result to display as i said hello make sure that you extract the marker before you whether the marker don't just assume it could be the problem why you can't know why you didn't get how you to use this markup. We need to wait and as you can see, this thing is not respond to my typing. Then you can actually see that the result is out. But the funny thing, combining it together with what we have there, it combined the two logo together, which means we have an error here. Let go to the layer open then let open again after we open you can actually see that we the layer pop up now hide the one that you don't want go back again and double tap i believe this will actually help for those that the layer did not come up i know the reason why the layer did not come up in my own i don't know what your reason is are but my own reason is very known to me, which I'm going to tell you. I rotate my phone to landscape. Then I discover whenever I rotate my phone to landscape, for you to clearly see and view what I'm doing, it will hide automatically hide the layer. So now that it's hide the layer, I'm thinking of the solution on what to do. I discover that I have to run the logo twice. Because after hiding, hiding the layer, I have to go to the layer, second layer at the what at the front panel. Then after going there, I will open the layer, but I can't hide the logo that already there. I don't care about that. I have to run it together. After running it together, then I can actually hide it. Then you can see I've achieved my result. And this is the logo I we created now. You can actually see. Then you see the step I, I use. I can't see the layer, but I don't care. After importing the mockup, to open the mockup, I go to the layer at the panel, front panel here. After going there, I open the layer, but I can't hide the logo there. I don't care. I position my logo on top of that logo. Then I run it together to transform. After transform, then the two logo appear on it. I don't care. I went back to the layer at the front panel. Then I click on it to open the layer again. After clicking on it, then the layer was open. After opening the layer, then you can automatically see it there that the uh, panel was open. I mean, the layer was open. Then I'm able to hide the previous logo on it, allow my own to stay. Then I run it. After finish the running, then you can actually see the layer disappear again. But I've achieved my aim. I believe this is helpful. Thanks for watching. Let's go to our watch, click on the file, click on export and save with smart object. I mean save with PNG. After that, you scroll and click on save. Now let's click open and view how the logo look like. Then you can see how amazing it is. Thanks for watching. May God bless us.